The Ecumenical Council Vatican II ends its second session by adopting some far-reaching changes. But Pope Paul VI makes an announcement on the last day that strikes an even higher historical note. He will visit the Holy Land early in 1964. The pontiff leads the 2,000 assembled prelates in prayer before making his closing statement to the council. At the end, he asked for a few more moments and made his announcement that he would visit the land from whence Peter set forth, the first of his successors to return. The cardinals, archbishops, and other churchmen greeted the announcement with astonishment first and then with enthusiastic endorsement. As they make their final acts of obedience to the pontiff, the word is flashed around the world. Not since the year 1809 has a pope left Italy, and that was when Pius VII was taken to France as a prisoner of Napoleon. Both Arabs and Jews in the Holy Land have hailed the announcement of his visit, and many observers see the trip as a great advance in better relations among the churches of all faiths. His precedent-shattering trip is expected to be devoid of pageantry and pomp. The Pope will go to the Holy Land as a pilgrim, retracing footsteps of history.